Today I'd like to introduce you to the Volcano Grill, the collapsible Volcano Grill. When you purchase a Volcano Grill or stove, it comes in a nice little carrying case. Inside the case you have a sleeve to hold your grates and diffuser plate. The Volcano Grill, is, when it's collapsed, is only about five and a half inches tall, but when you pick up the handle sharply, the legs pop out. Now this setup as it is, they say you can put over 300 pounds of weight on it. Personally, I wouldn't want to do that. In the bottom you will have a grate for putting charcoal. Now you can use wood in here, charcoal, or with the optional propane unit, you can cook with propane. So it's a tri-fuel stove. You can adjust the airflow. That's one of the unique features with the Volcano stove. You can have it all the way open to allow your briquettes or wood to burn much faster or slow it down, thus controlling the heat and the burn rate. The Volcano is double walled. That allows the outside of the Volcano to remain, remain cool to the touch, even under the Volcano, cool to the touch. So you have a bottom grate for holding charcoal or wood up off the bottom, allowing your vents to get air into your fuel source. The diffuser plate can also be used as another vent. It sits halfway up in the stove. It's another platform to put charcoal briquettes should you want to cook higher. For instance, when you're boiling something. Boiling something in a pot up on the upper grill or cooking hot dogs, hamburgers, something like that. I cook my breakfast as many mornings in a cast iron skillet on the volcano. You can use a wok. You can use a griddle. It's pretty much up to you as to what you want to use with this stove. It is very versatile. Today we're going to cook a chicken stew, vegetables and chicken. The chicken was only slightly defrosted in the microwave before bringing it, so it is partially cooked, but not very much. preparing my charcoal briquettes. Many people prepare the briquettes right in the stove. I prefer to still use the chimney. The nice thing about the volcano is that you use a lot less briquettes than you normally would. We're going to be using a 10 inch Dutch oven today. Normally you would use 20 briquettes. I'm going to put 14 in today because this is a grill, a stove, and an oven, you can do boiling, simmering, poaching, steaming, blanching, baking, stir-frying, deep-frying, broiling, roasting, barbecuing, grilling, braising, sautéing, pan-frying, cajun-frying. You name it, you can do it. So I'm using the diffuser plate so that my briquettes are higher. I put the briquettes around the outer edge so that the Dutch oven will not be coming into contact with any of them. The heat is better used this way with the Dutch oven. As an optional accessory you can purchase, it doesn't cost very much, the Volcano lid. This is made of a fabric that is heat or flame resistant, similar to what a fireman has. This effectively makes your volcano into an oven. I'm going to put it here. I'll put a oven thermometer into the top so we can keep track as to what types of temperatures we have inside that lid. Once the charcoal briquettes are going, they're all white ash. They're at their maximum. You can turn down the vent so that you will not have them burn up too quick and the temperature is too high. 250 degrees inside that lid when the vent is fully open, knocked it down to 225 when the vent was put to halfway. So let's look at our food after 
a little bit of cooking. Seems I didn't need that many briquettes. They're not very used up. I probably could have put in half as many briquettes and done the same job. Pound on them a little. You see that they're still quite um, unused. A lot of them are unused. Cleanup is easy. Just dump out your ashes. Then you want to wipe out the ash from the inside of the grill. Use something like a vegetable oil to coat the inside of the grill. This will eventually build up a layer similar to what you do when you um, cure a Dutch oven. It's not absolutely necessary, but it is recommended to use a vegetable oil coating once you've cleaned it up. Collapsing is as simple as lifting it up. Ready to go, once it's cool, to go back into your storage bag. Getting ready to take it on your next camping trip or adventure. If you wondered why the wetlands disappeared halfway through the introduction of the volcano collapsible grill, watch to the very end of this video and you'll see how the neighborhood just fell apart. I hope this video was a help to you. Getting to know the Volcano 2, also called the Volcano Collapsible Grill or Stove. Alright, the neighborhood's about to fall apart. Take care. Bye-bye.